Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Baijus Exam Prep. My name is Alpa Sharma, and this is our daily Hindu editorial analysis. Can you hear and see me clearly, everyone? Can you hear and see me clearly? Everyone? Good morning. I hope I'm clearly visible and audible. Hi everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, so clearly visible and audible. All right. So before we start off with our session, let us look at a few things. Today is 20th of December. Now you guys know I could not have a class with you on Friday because I wasn't well. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three days, I'm going to class. So I've chosen two articles from Thursday to Saturday. Two articles which I think are important and we'll be having a long discussion on them. And the vocabulary that I have today is also very, very good. We have tons of new words. One article is going to be from the Hindu. The other article is going to be from the Indian Express. Also, I see a lot of new names in my class today. So there is a good uh, announcement that I would be making very, very soon. But uh, this announcement ke liye, but wait karo, let more people join in and then I shall start off with our announcement. Uh, Samarth, I'm absolutely good. Thank you so much for asking. All right, so here we go. So we, before we start off, we have a new, new batch uh, for CLAT 2023 aspirants that we've launched. It's batch seven. So that means six batches are already full and I'm, I'm teaching in all of the six batches. I'll also be teaching in the seventh batch. We, the batch will be launched on 21st of December. If you are targeting 2023, not two years. Jaldi say this number pe baat karke enroll kar apne aapko quickly because we don't have a lot of time left. And batch bhi jaldi full ho jayega, fir aapko ek aur wait karna padega nahi batch ke liye. So this is batch seven. Apart from this, if you're targeting CLAT 22, we have two new batches. Hai. These are batch 5. This is two because one batch is bilingual, partially Hindi, partially English. And the other batch is in English. This batch is in English. I will be teaching in the batch that's going to be in English. So whatever mode of communication you feel the best with, you could enroll yourself for that batch. All right. So that was about our programs. Now, what are we going to do in the class? We'll take a quote of the day that you're going to give me. We will revise three questions from the last class that happened on Thursday. We're going to revise three questions. We'll take up two articles, do a detailed discussion on them. We'll take out vocabulary, phrasal verbs, idioms from those two articles, memorize them. In the end, aap mujhe tone of the author batayenge. Apart from the tone of the author, aap summary batayenge mujhe. Not more than one line, but wo summary chat mein nahi batayenge. Niche comment section mein likhenge under my video. Okay, and last mein hum dekhenge aaj ke Hindu or Indian Express mein se kya important articles hai jo padhna zuri hai aur kya articles hai jo hum miss kar sakte hai. Okay, so that is about it. Good morning everyone who's just now joined me. I am very very good. I got a much needed break and rest and I'm absolutely fine. So hopefully aage classes aise hi continue chalti rahengi. Aap logo ke boats over ho gaye sabke? Ye bata do mujhe jaldi se. Boats over ho gaye? Can you please add me in a telegram? Ashita, uh, you'll have to call the counselor who gave you the admission here to... Uh, you want me to add you in my telegram batch? Okay, today won't happen, Yashita. Tomorrow, I'll be sharing the link with the video team. Video team will post the link in the chat. You can join from there. Fair enough, because when I post it in the chat, you don't have access to it. So, my link in my telegram group, I will share it with video team. Ke saath, video team will post it tomorrow. And then you can join it, okay? All right. So, here we go. Okay, quote of the day, Conlaya. Today is the opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. Yes, Saki, very, very good. I love this quote. Aaj hi wo opportunity hai aur aapko aaj hi realize karna zaruri hai ki mera kal aaj pe dependent hai. To mein aaj kya karne wali hoon? Ek, ek suggestion deti hoon aaj ke liye aap logo ko. Thik hai? So, I'm assuming you guys um, are done with your uh, boards. Most of you are. Aaj ka ek apne liye plan banao. Ki mujhe aaj ye ye cheeze achieve karni hai. ठीक है एक प्लान बनाओ अपने लिए और आ, उस प्लान को देखो इवनिंग तक क्या आप उसको अचीव कर सकते हो 
आज मुझे इतने रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन करने इतनी वोकेबलरी करनी है ये पार्ट ऑफ जीके कवर अप करना है ये मैथ्स के क्वेश्चंस करने एक अचीवेबल टारगेट बनाओ अपना अगर आप इजीली अचीव कर पाते हो कल बड़ा बना लेना अगर इजीली अचीव नहीं कर पाते उसको थोड़ा सा कम कर लेना बट एक टारगेट बनाओ आज अपने लिए ठीक है एंड लेट सी कि आप कैसे फॉलो कर सकते हो बिकॉज बिना टाइम टेबल के आपके लिए बहुत डिफिकल्ट होगा इस पूरे कोर्स को कवरअप करना ऑल राइट ओके यस प्रसून दैट कैन ऑल्सो बी डन यस थैंक यू सो मच ओके ऑल राइट ऑल राइट विथ फुल सिलेबस आई एम एब्सोल्यूटली गुड एवरी वन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर आस्किंग आई एम एब्सोल्यूटली हेल्दी टूडे ओके आशिता ओके ये समर्थ इट इज द सेम ठीक है आशिता डू इट बाई दर द क्लास ऑल राइट सो लेट्स गो अड Yes, Ranganathan, I'm going to do that. So here we go. Let's revise our vocabulary. Let's see. Mm. Yes. So an outbreak of public anger or excitement. Is it condemn, regressive stance, or furor? What is the word here? What do you think should the answer be? Exactly, Priya. Our to-do list is very important. All right. What's our answer here? Yes. Yes, it is furor. Exactly, fury. You can link it to fury, and thus comes the word furor. Correct. Our correct answer is furor here. Let's move to the next word for revision. People who are new, you might not know this word or these words because we did them last week on Thursday. the freeing of someone from slavery misogyny outrageous emancipation truncate what is it stance is a standpoint it is ahna yes so what's our answer here truncate no it's emancipation it's emancipation yes it is emancipation correct so emancipation is okay uh, no boundation you are free you have liberty that's emancipation truncate is to make shorter okay misogyny is hatred for women outrageous is uh, uh, too wild and too bold and brazen not rather bold it's brazen is outrageous okay the last one solemnly promise to do a specific thing easy one mortal wow chaos stereotype what is it super easy everyone should be able to get it truncate is to make shorter kartik time period uska short kar diya truncate kar diya aapka uh, time period of acting like a president ek saal kam kar diya truncate okay popsi i wasn't well on friday so i could not take a class and saturday sundays we don't have hindu classes misogyny is hatred for women the answer is b here yes it's wow it is okay we o w the answer is wow when you take vows aap pledge lete ho aap oath lete ho these are vows you promise okay these are vows all right so these were the words from revision now let's start with today's vocabulary we have a lot of new words please be very careful while i explain the meaning of the words to you okay so here we go <coughs> Oath, yes, आप oath भी बोल सकते हो वाओ को यूर राइट वी गो ओके कोलीस इज बेसिकली जब आप एक साथ गैदर करते हो एक्यूमुलेट करते हो यू गैदर इट इन टू अ मास दैट इज कोलीस सो द पडल्स हैड कोलीज इन टू शैलो स्ट्रीम्स सो इट हैड गैदर्ड इट हैड एक्यूमुलेटेड एग्रीगेटेड यू गुड Call them police. Okay. The next word, refrain. Refrain is to stop something or somebody from doing something. Stop rather yourself from doing something is uh, refrain. She refrained from commenting on her dress. Yes, a statement. Aye. He Google gives random statements. She refrained from commenting on the government. That's a better sentence. Okay. 
so she stopped herself from commenting refrain is stopping yourself easy words yes good morning everyone assemble accumulate gather tanu yes colleagues ka synonym ho gaya hai sara correct all right let's move to the third one so concomitant can you check out the root word that's here in concomitant con which meant together like conjoined i had taught you these words right so con is together so basically concomitant is one thing that is naturally accompanied with something else that accompaniment is concomitant they come together is concomitant so she loved travel with all its concomitant worries so she loved travel along with she also loved the worries that came with travel she loved doing that so it's something that comes along with something else is concomitant we did this word last week as well con yes con is together yes you're absolutely right Uh, for colleagues, you said cluster, cohort, coterie, gamut, aggregate, allegiance. Yes, Ah Arshita, all of them are absolutely correct. Concomitant ko connecting bhi bol sakte ho. Yes, you can. Together, yes, con is together. All right, let's move to the next word. The next word is acme. Acme is the highest point, highest stage of development. So many synonyms to it. Can you add on to it? something that's at its peak at its best is acme physics is the acme of scientific knowledge it's the best part according to some people the height the uh, most uh, interesting thing of scientific knowledge is acme here any synonyms to it anyone yes muskan this is the first slide no no samarth that's acne okay yeah it's okay apex pivotal yes correct very good very good mamta koi baat nahi with that it's okay zenith yes it is zenith as well peak it is peak all right zenith pivotal all of these the last word of the first slide this is slide number 1 is dictum so dictum is when an authority gives a a judgment or it reads out a rule that's a dictum the dicta or dictum singular plural okay like alumni alumnus data datum so dicta and dictum okay so the dicta of high court judges was taken negatively by the press so the statement given from an authority by an authority is a dicta or a dictum slide number 1 take a screenshot everyone before i move to the next slide all right yes it can be arshita yes any other questions anyone take a screenshot first two words Colise is basically to gather into a mass. Is colise and refrain is to stop yourself from doing something or saying something. You refrain yourself. That's refrain. Yes, Tano. D I C T. Dict is the root word, which means to say. Absolutely right. Okay. Okay. Dictum is again a an official statement that comes from an authority. Is a dictum. Authority ne kuch bola. क्या बोला वो डिक्टम कहलाता है ओके ऑल राइट लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड एवरीवन इफ इफ यू आर क्लियर विथ ऑल द वर्ड्स हियर स्लाइड नंबर टू रेपंजेंट सो रेपंजेंट इज बेसिकली जब आप आर्ग्यूमेंट में होते हो किसी के साथ व्हेन यू आर इन अ पोजीशन ऑफ नॉट बीइंग फ्रेंडली विथ समबडी or not being uh, compatible with somebody is repugnant you may be in a conflict as well a by law must not be repugnant to the general law of the country it must be concomitant with the general law it must not be repugnant must not be opposite or incompatible it has to be compatible to the general law of the country the by law okay so i hope you understand what a by law and a general law is you need to know this 
right that's rapunzel rapunzel is either in opposition or not going really well together or maybe deviating from the main course is rapunzel the next one prerogative is your right your authority your privilege these are prerogatives there are multiple um, uh, hollywood songs with this word prerogative this, this, so they they keep saying oh this is my prerogative it's my right it's my uh, privilege that i will use in some countries higher education is predominantly the prerogative of the rich it's the right only of the rich in some countries uh, but not in our country it's for all okay the next word before i move there are any contrary ho sakta hai uh inconsistent palak absolutely correct for the pungent okay then uh against averse yes you can say that yes ah uh, night can be correct app me nothing okay all right the next word confirm okay confirm to the rules comply to the rules you agree to them your agreement to them is your conformity to them the kitchen does not conform to hygiene regulations koi restaurant ka kitchen hoga jo follow nahi karta hoga hygiene regulations because it does not follow the hygiene regulations is it does not conform it does not comply or follow is i can write it follow is also conform okay the last one a uh, charter so then there are multiple meanings of a charter a written grant by a sovereign legislative power of a country i have used this definition because we are going to and rather this definition of repungen because we are going to be discussing an article on law okay not law but l a w law and uh, we're going to talk about our constitution today okay and your rights and your duties to remember the article i i want to take that article it's a difficult one but i really really strongly believe something of that sort can come in the examination so chartered is basically a written grant by the sovereign or legislative power of a country by which a body such as a city company or university is founded or its right privileges are defined so it's basically a formal document that the uh, legislative power the legal power of the country makes through which uh, uh, states are formed so the town received the charter from the emperor it was legally permitted to uh, give itself a status of a state or a city and the rights and privileges the citizens of the state have slide number 2 i hope you understand everything take a screenshot everyone yes it's the hindu article yes yeah, shivangi it can be it can be how to read 100 concentration matlab Yes, 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 Falguni. There are. There, it's absolutely different. Both the words are absolutely different. So, can I confirm? Can you please confirm if your exams are over? That is F I R M. Okay, and F O R M is to abide by the rules and laws. That's conformity. Okay. Yes, very good that you've pointed this out. All right. Moving to the next slide. I hope you've taken a screenshot, everyone. चार्टर का सिनेम कुछ नहीं होगा आप इसको आ, समर्थ एक डिक्टम से लिंक कर सकते हो डिक्टम इसका एक रिलेटेड वर्ड हो गया है ना ऐसी कोई भी चीज जो ऑफिशियल अथॉरिटी से आती है उसको आप लिंक कर सकते हो बट इसका एक एग्जैक्ट सिनेम नहीं होगा कुछ भी स्पेशली जो ये लीगल टर्मिनोलॉजीज है जागन्स हैं जागन्स के सिनेम्स बहुत ही रेयरली होते हैं ओके लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट लाइट फोर बेर फोर एंड हाइंड दो रूट वर्ड्स होते हैं ठीक है सो हाइंड पीछे फोर आगे सो फोर बेर हमारे जो एंसिस्टर है उनको हम फोर बैर बोलते हैं जनरेशन ऑफ इज फोर बैरर्स हैड लिव इन लंडन उसके एंसिस्टर्स लंडन में रहते थे नेक्स्ट सब्ज्यूम ओके तो सब एंड सब्ज्यूम सबसे याद कर लेना इट्स बेसिकली बाकी सब चीजों को अपने अंदर एनकम पास कर लेना अब्जॉर्ब कर लेना इज सब्ज्यूम द मोस्ट ऑफ दीज फिनोमिना कैन बी सब्ज्यूम्ड अंडर टू ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज तो ये सारे फिनोमिना मर्ज हो जाते हैं इन दो ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज में ये दो ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज अब्जॉर्ब कर लेती है अपने आसपास वाली सारी फिनोमिना को ओके सो दैट इज सब्ज्यूम आया सबको समझ में सब्ज्यूम कैसे हुआ एंसेस्टर यस फॉर बेर इज एंसेस्टर चार्टर को डॉक्यूमेंट भी बोल सकते हो यस प्रोरोगेटिव इज योर राइट योर प्रिविलेज 
प्रोजनी आगे वाला हो गया ठीक है ठीक है अभी ना देखो चार्टर बेसिकली एक ऑफिशियल uh, अथॉरिटी होती है हमारे किसी भी एक कंट्री के हाईएस्ट लीगल अथॉरिटी से आने वाली लेजिस्लेशन से आने वाली एक ऑफिशियल uh, स्टेटमेंट होती है या डॉक्यूमेंट होता है जो बाकी सारे स्टेट्स को कुछ कुछ राइट्स और अथॉरिटीज देते हैं उसको आप बोल सकते हैं चार्टर ओके ऑल राइट विनोद फॉर बैर इज एन एंसिस्टर पूर्वज ओके ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट वर्ड पॉलिमिसिस्ट आई एस टी इज यूज फॉर अ पर्सन ओके कौन सा पर्सन जैसे डेंटिस्ट एंड साइंटिस्ट वैसे पॉलिमिसिस्ट पॉलिमिसिस्ट कौन होता है एक वो पर्सन जो यूजली कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल डिबेट्स का पार्ट होता है उसे हम पॉलिमिसिस्ट बोलते हैं सर हिटलर वॉज ए ब्रिलियंट पॉलिमिसिस्ट विद एन इंडिपेंडेंट क्रिटिकल माइंड या ही सर्टनली वॉज and with the kind of speeches he used to give he was very influential tabhi to socho puri country ko ek alag track pe leke chala gaya wo hai na so he was a brilliant polemicist he used to love getting into contradictory or uh, controversial debates and uh, he had his own independent critical mind he is a polemicist a uh, fascist ek related word hai polemicist se lekin zaruri nahi hai uska meaning same ho bilkul bhi same nahi hai फासिस्टिक डिक्टेटर हो गया ओके पॉलिमिसिस्ट हो गया जो ऐसे कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल डिबेट्स का पार्ट होता है आर्ग्यू करता है ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट वर्ड आई एस टी फॉर अ स्पेशलिस्ट यस ऑल राइट अपैथी रिलेटेड है चलो नेक्स्ट वर्ड देखते हैं कॉन्फ्लेशन एक वर्ड होता है देखो यहां भी रूट वर्ड कौन है ओके सो कॉन्फ्लेशन इज बेसिकली बहुत सारी चीजों के आइडियाज मर्ज करना इज कॉन्फ्लेशन कॉन इज टूगेदर देखो सिर्फ कौन से कितने वर्ड्स कर रहे हैं हम क्लास में द फोर्सफुल कॉन्फ्लेशन ऑफ टू ट्रेडिशन द फोर्सफुल मर्जिंग ऑफ टू ट्रेडिशन लेट टू अ ब्लडी वॉर ओके सो कॉन्फ्लेशन इज बेसिकली मर्जिंग इट कुड बी मर्जिंग ऑफ टेक्सट मर्जिंग ऑफ आइडियाज मर्जिंग ऑफ रिलीजन एनी थिंग इट्स बेसिकली मर्जिंग इंसुलैरिटी ओके मैं इंसुलैरिटी का एग्जाम्पल हुआ मैं मेरे रिलीजन में बिलीव करती हूँ और मैं बाकियों में कोई इंटरेस्ट नहीं दिखाऊंगी और मेरे लिए मेरे एक्सपीरियंस से बाहर जो चीज है वो गलत है मैं अपने आप का एक्सपीरियंस और अपने रिलीजन को और अपने थॉट को सही मानूंगी तो एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ब्रिटिश इंसुलैरिटी इज द ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे ये ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी की थोड़ी सी बात करेंगे आज हम ठीक है सो यस इंसुल उनको लगा था हम सही है और हमारे सेम चीज जर्मनी में हुई थी नाजी आइडियोलॉजी के बाहर उनको लगता था जो है वो गलत है उनका आइडिया उनका एक्सपीरियंस उनका कल्चर बेस्ट है और उसके बाहर वो किसी में भी इंटरेस्ट नहीं दिखाएंगे सो ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी वाज एन एग्जांपल, नाजी आइडियोलॉजी वाज अनदर एग्जांपल ऑफ इंसुलैरिटी स्लाइड नंबर थ्री एवरीवन टेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट क्विकली हाउ टू फाइंड रूट वर्ड विनोद यू हैव टू बी रेगुलर टू माई क्लासेज यू लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड दैट ओके ऑल राइट Oh yes muskan it can exactly you you have a good example okay tambit patra is polemicist okay i'll reserve my comments here stereotype bilkul kartik bol sakte ho aap insularity ke liye so now i'm moving to the articles from today's uh class and i'm going to go slow because the both the articles have a lot of implied meanings so hum koshish karenge dheere dheere usko samajhne ki dono pe reading comprehension easily ban sakte hain theek hai so uh, before i move with the class there are uh, uh, there is one important announcement that i am going to make january onwards i am going to restart working with you guys on the important editorials that you've missed out in the last 6 months तो जनवरी में हम उनका रिवीजन एक अलग सीरीज में स्टार्ट करेंगे नॉट आर रेगुलर हिंदू क्लासेस ठीक है उस सीरीज में हम क्या करेंगे हम सारे एडिटोरियल्स नहीं लेंगे बट आई बी हैंड पिकिंग दो एडिटोरियल्स जिसपे स्पेसिफिकली रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन बन सकता है एग्जाम में या वो आपको कुछ सिखा सकता है तो हम ये सिक्स लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स के जिन लोगों ने रेगुलरली नहीं किए हैं एडिटोरियल्स यू कैन कम विथ मी टू दैट सीरीज यू हैव टू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सो दैट यू डोंट मिस आउट ऑन दो इंपॉर्टेंट सीरीज ओके So let's move ahead. 
आर्टिकल स्टार्ट करते हैं ह्योर वी को अ फॉल्स कॉन्फ्लेशन बिटवीन ड्यूटीज एंड राइट्स आपकी फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज क्या है आपकी फंडामेंटल राइट्स क्या है एज अ सिटीजन ऑफ द कंट्री एज समबडी हु हैज हैड सिविक्स इन योर स्कूल एज समबडी हु एम्स टू बी अ लॉयर इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव इयर्स और सिक्स इयर्स मे बी इफ यू आर टारगेटिंग ट्वेंटी यू शुड नो वट आर योर फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज वट आर योर फंडामेंटल राइट्स हमारा कौन सा आर्टिकल डिफाइन करता है हमारे फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज और राइट्स ये सब आपको पता होना चाहिए ठीक है आपको नहीं पता है मैं नहीं समझाऊंगी आपकी फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज क्या आपके फंडामेंटल राइट्स क्या है क्योंकि ये आपके स्कूल के सिविक्स की बुक में है डिफाइंड है राइट right शायद इतने अच्छे से नहीं होगा बट ड्यूटीज बहुत डिटेल में डिफाइंड है सो दी ऑथर हियर से फॉल्स मर्जिंग है ड्यूटीज और राइट्स की जहां इनको मर्ज नहीं करना चाहिए इनको अलग अलग देखना चाहिए Why? Let's understand that. Okay? I think it's a very important article. Yes, this is from the Hindu. Yes, it is. Okay. But I made it short, Palak. All right. So, should our rights coalesce with our duties? क्या वो अलग-अलग देखे जाने चाहिए? Or should we look at them together? In recent, that's the question that the author is trying to answer here. Okay? You remember, usually in the beginning of the passage, when the author asks you questions. He will usually aim at addressing the answers in the passage only, and that's why the question comes up in the beginning. So, in recent times, it has been something of a constant refrain of the governing class to advocate an integrity of duty with right. Okay, by duty here, they do not mean the concomitant obligation that spring out of the constitutional promises. कि आपको ऐसा करना ही पड़ेगा जब आप एक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन को फॉलो करते हैं कंट्री में आपको ऐसा करना ही पड़ेगा दे आर नॉट रेफरिंग टू दोज ऑब्लिगेशन एट दी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डिफाइंस बट दे आर रेफरिंग टू अ सेट ऑफ आइडियल्स दैट आर रिटर्न इन टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ड्यूरिंग द एप में ऑफ इंदिरा गांधी इंपोस्ट इमरजेंसी तो ये तब नहीं आए थे ड्यूटीज हमारी जब हमारा कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन फ्रेम हुआ था राइट right? जिसके बाद हमने रिपब्लिक डे अपना बनाना स्टार्ट किया इट वॉज अडिशनली एडेड ड्यूरिंग इंदिरा गांधी इंपोस्ट इमरजेंसी टाइम और ऐसा लग रहा है कि गवर्नमेंट अब इनको प्रमोट कर रही है ऐसा लग रहा है इन देर बिलीव दीज अदरवाइज नॉट बाइंडिंग ऑब्लिगेशन ये जो ऑब्लिगेशन थे जो इस टाइम पे एड किए थे नॉन बाइंडिंग ऑब्लिगेशन कुछ ऑब्लिगेशन होते जो हमसे एक्सपेक्ट किया जाता है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के थ्रू की हम वो करेंगे ये हमारी ड्यूटीज होती है बट देन देर आर सम नॉन बाइंडिंग ऑब्लिगेशन दैट वर एडेड ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम The fundamental duties as Article 51A, ये आपको पता होना चाहिए describes them as ought to be treated at par with, if not superior to the various fundamental rights that the Constitution guarantees. So basically, ये fundamental duties है जिनको हम at par, superior तो नहीं but at par हम मान सकते हैं हमारे fundamental rights के Okay? In an aversion of the well-known dictum, they see duties. and not rights as trumps so lekin aisa lag raha hai ki government duties ko to dhyan de rahi hai lekin rights ko ignore kar rahi hai to wo shayad duties ko superior maan rahi hai hamare rights se that's a problem that he is focusing here theek hai 15a yes yes exactly All right. From now onwards, do classes will in regular phase? Abhinav, I'll try to if I'm well. But if I'm not well, I will take a rest. That's my priority. But I try to be regular. Okay. Aage dekhte hain. The Constituent Assembly was clear. Ab past mein jaate hain. ठीक है जब हमारा Constitution frame हो रहा था तो जो हमारी जो Constituent Assembly थी, it was clear in its belief. That the Constitution's emphasis must always rest on individual dignity. हम जो भी duties बना रहे हैं, जो भी rights दे रहे हैं लोगों को, वो एक person की dignity को maintain करें, irrespective of your gender, caste, of your uh, religion. ठीक है? वो आप एक equal level पे आपकी dignity maintain करके रखें। यही ध्यान रखा था हमारे Constituent Assembly ने। That is the Constitution's chief purpose. must be to preserve and guarantee basic human rights sabko equal human rights mile sabko equality mile sabko autonomy one person one vote sabki autonomy honi chahiye sabko liberty mile aur bahut sari aur cheezon ko dhyan mein rakha hamari constituent assembly ne to the farmers the very to the framers sorry to the framers the very idea of 
फार्मर्स इसलिए पढ़ लिया बिकॉज इतना न्यूज में पढ़ लिया फार्मर्स दीज एम सॉरी द फ्रेमर्स द वेरी आइडिया ऑफ डेलीबरेटिंग ओवर वेदर दीज राइट्स ऑट टू बी प्रोविशनल अब देखो जब वो बना रहे थे हमारे बेसिक फंडामेंटल राइट्स दे हैड समथिंग इन देर माइंड दे हैड इट इन देर माइंड दैट सो निवेद्या I, I'll try to speak uh, as much as possible in English, but then I'll have to partially speak in Hindi as well. I hope you understand, okay? Okay, so here we go. So while they were framing the Constituent Assembly, uh, was they were thinking about what fundamental rights to be given, and if these rights should be only provisional for some time, or should they be permanent, and whether these rights ought to be made subject to the performance of some alien duty was repugnant to the public's vision, but. the importance played on every person's ethical independence did not mean that rights were seen as absolute warrants now see they were very very clear you have rights but that does not mean you have an absolute warrant to do anything you wish to isme bhi sub clauses aa jate hain to hum kehte hain na mera right to freedom of speech hai lekin kahin kahin wo sedition se link ho jata hai ki aap aisa kuch nahi bologe jo public disharmony ignite kare आप उसको ये नहीं क्लेम कर सकते दैट आई हैव अ राइट टू फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच यू कैन क्लेम दैट बिकॉज देन दिस इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी एन एप्सोल्यूट वॉरेंट टू स्पीक एनीथिंग दैट्स नॉट ट्रू ओके चलो मिलके सब हिंदूज को मार के आते आई कैन से दैट नो दैट इज नॉट माई फ्रीडम ऑफ राइट फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच आफ्टर ऑल पार्ट थ्री of the constitution in which our fundamental rights are nestled contains within it a set of limitations you have limitations you can't say anything you can't do anything because you have that fundamental right in your hands yes however none of those restrictions places a burden on citizen to perform duties as a condition now comes the point so we have rights but the rights are not absolute there are some limitations to the right but there was no condition mentioned in our constitution that made it mandatory for you to perform the duties as well your duties were not enforced okay got this point everyone got this point so abdul the objective of fundamental right was exactly these lines you see these lines were the objective of our fundamental rights so there could be a question in the examination of this sort all right let's move to the next page the constitution's framers saw the placing of mandates on individual responsibilities as nothing more than a legislative prerogative legislative rights legislative privilege and rather than being uh, the um, the duties as a mandate it would be a prerogative that you have any such imposition would have to conform to the language of fundamental right imposition will be a fundamental right but parliament was otherwise free to dictate personal behavior yes parliament could do that it had the liberty time to time things changed and they could dictate what your duty was an example is given here a parliament can decide if you should be paying tax how much tax you should tax you should be paying the parliament decides that our constitution does not tell us and it's as a citizen of the country it's my duty to pay taxes how much tax should i pay the government the parliament decides that so if something is to be dictated as a duty the onus is on the parliament our constitution our constitution does not define it that i need to pay my taxes this is one example of a duty that the parliament makes it a compulsion or an obligation if the tax imposed and sanctions prescribed were reasonable the obligations placed on the citizen will be constitutionally valid so if it is reasonable and how do we decide if it's reasonable after the debate that has happened in the parliament otherwise it can't be a, a an act right so if there is an act on income tax there's a debate first that happens we find it reasonable we take it forward and we make people follow that as an obligation as a duty okay got this everyone any questions yes so here we go i hope you understand what is the author's perspective how is he differentiating between the fundamental rights and fundamental duties and what is a prerogative and what isn't this is not to suggest that human rights are by themselves sufficient human rights apne aap mein sufficient nahi hote hain ye nahi manna isko dekh ke 
The philosopher Andra O'Neill has argued with say with some force that we would do well to discuss the precise nature of our duties that rights created. First comes right and then comes duties. So the constitution will always give the citizen a priority. But then there are a few things which he expects. The constitution it expects out of you. So it's a byproduct. Unless we do so, our charters of human rights may not by themselves be enough. If we don't follow our duties, only my rights will never be able to fulfill the whole society's needs. They go hand in hand. It's not an obligation, remember, but it goes hand in hand. For example, we may want to ask ourselves if the promise of a right to free expression imposes on the state something more than a duty to forbear from making an unwarranted restriction on that liberty. Who will explain this line to me? Read this line, explain this to me. What is the author trying to explain through this example? Good luck. And Saki, that's exactly why this article is here. That's exactly why I'm explaining it. No more ways. Abdul, I can't do it in this class. You have to uh, watch out for a class that explains what CLAT is. Who's going to explain this line to me? For example, this example. And what is it explaining? Read this again, everyone. Okay, I'll do that again, Wopsy. We may want to ask ourselves if the promise of a right to free expression imposes on the state something more than a duty to forbear from making an unwarranted restriction on that liberty. Any guesses, anyone? We have, oh Purva, you here? We have a right to freedom of expression, but does the state have a duty to stop us? Yes. Or does the state also have a duty to make sure we have our rights in our hands? It's the duty, the onus is on the state. The duty that the state has to follow, has to fulfill. Okay, now I'll explain this. See. Anyone in the app saying anything? No one? Okay. So, okay, it says, we know there are some rights that we have. Okay. But is there any duty, any obligation on the state to make sure that we get equal access to equal rights for everyone? That is what this line explains. Okay. All right. Does it require the state to also work towards creating an equal society where each person finds herself in a position to express herself freely? Am I free enough? Is the state ensuring that I can speak freely? The state here does not mean Rajasthan and uh, Maharashtra, not these states, the state as in the whole country here. Okay. So if I ask you something of this sort, and if you're confused, if something of this sort comes in the examination, what do you do? You read one line that comes after it, one line that comes before it. You try to gauge the meaning of it. And that's how you find out the answer. Second line clearly explains is line ka kya meaning hai. Kya state ensure karta hai ki aap apne duties follow kar pa, aap apne rights follow kar pa, aapko equal rights mil rahe ki mil rahe. Similarly, does the right to life include within it a positive obligation on the state to provide shelter? Mera hai. Deko, main wapas repeat karti hun. The onus is on the state. The state has to ensure ki sabke paas equal rights aar hai. Ab mera right to life hai. Okay, but does the state ensure that I get food to survive and a roof to sleep under so that I'm able to live a life with dignity? Do I have ample of health care? If I don't have an access to all these, my fundamental right to life is violated. So the state has to ensure that. All right. So right now the fundamental duties are actually being put back on the state. It's their duty as well to ensure it. Exactly, and so is the case with freedom of speech. Okay, so let's go to the next paragraph. When we speak about the importance of obligations, obligation on the state, obligation on us as citizens. When we speak about the importance of obligation, 
it is these questions that must animate our discussion rather than saying you as an individual you as a citizen of a country have this duty rather than working on these the kind of debates that should happen is what is the duty of the state that kind of debates need to be promoted should we instead allow the language of fundamental duties as contained in the 50, article 51a to subsume our political debates jo constitution mein likha hua hai hamare fundamental rights kya wo hamare debates ko influence kare ya fir we should only be placing the jeopardy the moral in jeopardy the moral principles at heart of the india's republic what is the jeopardy of moral principles at the heart of india's republic kaun batayega what is it referring to here what is the what is in jeopardy the moral principles at the heart of india's republic who is going to explain this line to me exactly muskan it does who is going to explain this last line to me everyone pay attention to it carefully they wish what are you saying we have a right but have some restriction with the rights okay yes jeopardy is placing at risk what does the line mean that to subsume our political debates we should only we would only be placing in jeopardy the moral principles at the heart of india's republic अगर हम अपने कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के फंडामेंटल राइट्स और फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज के बारे में बात करते रहें डिबेट करते रहें देन वी वुड ओनली बी प्लेसिंग इन जेपडी वी वुड बी प्लेसिंग थिंग्स एट रिस्क व्हाट आर वी गोइंग टू पुट एट रिस्क द मॉरल प्रिंसिपल्स एट द हार्ट ऑफ इंडिया यस ऑल आर फंडामेंटल राइट्स एग्जैक्टली तनो जब हम सिर्फ फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज के बारे में आर्ग्यू करेंगे तो हमारे सारे फंडामेंटल राइट right भी जेपरडाइज हो जाएंगे सो द प्रिंसिपल्स एट द हार्ट ऑफ इंडिया रिपब्लिक हमारे फंडामेंटल राइट्स एग्जैक्टली प्रसून एब्सोल्यूटली यस 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 करेक्ट अनु अली वट डू यू से द मॉरल पॉलिसीज ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन शुड नॉट बी attacked or disturbed yes you're right ali anyone in the app saying anything no one why do you guys not say anything in the app aya sabko samajh mein to ye keh raha hai hindi mein explain karti hu author ye bol raha hai ki agar aap sirf fundamental duty ke bare mein argue karte rahoge na ki meri kya duty aur state ki kya duty hai to hoga kya aapka jo fundamental right hai freedom hai जो आपको कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के मेकर्स ने दिया है आप उसको ही जेपरटाइज करते हो कि अगर आप उसी के बारे में डिबेट करते रहोगे तो कि आपकी फंडामेंटल ड्यूटी क्या है सिटीजन ओके हम्म आया जान भी समझ में एवरीवन कैन आई मूव टू द नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल इसका टोन बताइए टू पुट इन टू डेंजर द मॉरल प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ द हार्ट ऑफ इंडिया ये अभिनव यूर राइट बट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन रेमिडीज वट्स आई आई डोंट गेट यू क्वेश्चन अभिनव आप क्या बोल रहे हैं गॉट दिस एवरी वन कैन मूव टू द नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल नेक्स्ट वन इज शॉर्टर नॉट एज लॉन्ग चले एनालिटिकल टोन क्रिटिकल है मोस्टली एनालिटिकल है मोस्टली एनालिटिकल यस 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 मोस्टली एनालिटिकल एनालिसिस है तो क्रिटिसिज्म भी आ रहा है सजेशन भी आ रहा है तो आप मेजर टोन एनालिसिस मानेंगे एनालिसिस की ड्यूटीज और राइट और क्या है इनमें एक लेवलिंग uh, है या ये अलग अलग है दीज आर दिस इज एन एनालिसिस दैट दी ऑथर इज डूइंग यस मुस्कान ओके लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल आई लव द नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल all the people who read would also love the next article let's move to that quickly now because i have a lot to discuss george orwell people who don't read might not know his name this is the pen name that he uses uh, and he's written a lot of essays a lot of books but two of the most
famous books one of that is animal farm you know you guys know i promote that book a lot in my classes you guys know i want all of you to read the animal farm you guys know that so if you haven't read it yet please please do that it's such a beautiful satire so it doesn't look like a satire at the first place when you read that okay so please read george orwell if you haven't read him at all okay now this article discusses george orwell this article also discusses england uh, rather uh, the uk okay so uh, how what does it say let's understand that george orwell sabko samajh mein aa gaya he was a very very famous writer i'll tell you a bit about george orwell also when we go ahead with the article this is from the indian express okay yeah so here we go so um, and why have i taken this article because something of this sort can easily be framed into a reading comprehension i could have done that and that's why something of this sort can come in the examination not in perspective of gk but in perspective of reading comprehension and critical reasoning so george orwell would have appreciated britain's love for hobbies amid pandemic why the author explains that in the passage so britain during the pandemic has it has honed its own passion for hobbies and uh, things they were interested in like we started making dalgona coffee and we started uh, circulating whatsapp messages ki is time pe aise clap karoge to ye dhwani niklegi aur ye corona ko finish kar degi ye hamari hobby thi india mein but britain ki hobby alag thi britain ki kya hobby thi let's understand that and george orwell would have appreciated what is happening to britain not even anis horribilis what is anis horribilis anis is a year annual okay a year oh ho a year is anis horribilis horrible a year full of horrible things the opposite would be anis what mirabilis a year full of miracles ठीक है दीज आर वेरी कॉमनली यूज टर्म्स सो नॉट इवन एन एस हॉरिबल इज दैट इज द लास्ट टू इयर्स हैज डेंटेड ब्रिटिश पब्लिक लव फॉर इट्स हॉबीज कह रहे इतना खराब साल निकल गया तो भी उनकी हॉबीज खत्म नहीं हुई उन्होंने अपने हॉबीज को उस टाइम भी परस्यू किया मुस्कान एनिमल फॉर्म टॉक्स अबाउट एनिमल्स बट नॉट एनिमल्स आई विल नॉट टेल यू वॉट इट टॉक्स अबाउट यू हैव टू रीड दैट इट इज फॉर बिगिनर्स यस it's for beginners it it's for pros if you are a pro you haven't read it you should be reading if you're a beginner you should still be reading animal farm sab pad lo yeah okay so mm hmm yes a horrible year so even the pandemic could not deter them britishers from pursuing their hobbies A report published earlier this week by the British Museum found that a copper alloy harness. Basically, ये पूरा पार्ट ये बता रहा है कि amateurs ने अपनी they pursued their hobbies, their hobby for excavation, and they found out so many artifacts. Almost fifty thousand artifacts were discovered during the pandemic because they pursued their hobbies. The pandemic could not deter their spirits. This ability to stay with the small joys. हमारा joy किस चीज़ में पता है आपको उनका joy है small joys of excavation finding old artifacts in even the most trying circumstances trying circumstances would most difficult times trying times was something george orwell admired about his compatriots compatriots citizens matlab jis country ke citizen george orwell hai usi country ke baki citizens ke liye compatriots use kiya aapke compatriots hue main hum sab ek hi country ke citizens okay now george orwell ke bare mein ek interesting baat batati hu George Orwell had the citizenship of uh, UK. He also lived in Europe for quite a while. He surprisingly a lot of people don't know was born in Bihar. Did you did you know that? He was born in India. The house he was born in is a, a historical monument now. It's a museum now. So but he was born in Bihar. because his father not in indian mother neither in indian as well his father used to serve for the britishers before our country got the independence okay so did you guys know this thing about him yeah a lot of people did not know this 
so uh, but ironically uh, there is there are not a lot of things that george orwell has written about india he's written a lot lot about uk about the world war and that's why the two famous books that he's written they came they became popular after the first and the second world war okay so the lion and the unicorn lion and the unicorn kaun se country se link karte ho kaun se country ka sabse important sign hai lion and the unicorn kis se link karte ho a lot of people don't know that yeah animal farm by george orwell ashita george orwell has written animal farm indian prasoon he is indian i've met him by the way prasoon i've met ruskin bond personally uh, a lot of people don't know this as well i have a personally signed copy of a night train to deoli written theek hai lion and the unicorn sri lanka nahi england 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 aur kyun hai lion and the unicorn main ye bhi aapko batati hu lion for boldness for uh, not being uh, timid and unicorn for its courage so in cheezo se link kiya jata hai england mein wo ek uh, sign ki tarah use karte hain lion and the unicorn ko so this was an essay written by george orwell on england only theek hai so uh, lion and the unicorn socialism and the english genius a fascism threatened to sweep england ठीक है सो एक टाइम था जब लग रहा था कि पूरा इंग्लैंड फासिज्म में दब जाएगा फासिज्म क्या है लाइक अ डिक्टेटर डिक्टेटर की तरह जो काम करता है ठीक है सो आई एल टेल यू हाउ डिड आई मीट रस्किन मॉन यू कैन मीट हिम टू आई टेल यू दैट लेटर ऑन बाय द एंड ऑफ द कास्ट जस्ट रिमाइंड मी दैट ठीक है सो ही रोट इन इज एसे वी आर ए नेशन ऑफ फ्लावर लवर्स बट ऑल्सो अ नेशन ऑफ स्टैम्प कलेक्टर्स पिजन फैंसीज एमेचर कार्पेंटर्स Coupon snippers, darts players, crosswords, puzzle fans. कह रहे थे हम flower lovers तो हैं but हम और भी बहुत कुछ हैं तो इसलिए the country is full of good things. In his brief about prolific career as a journalist, polemicist and novelist, he was a polemicist for sure. इतनी debates का part रहे हैं वो उनकी life इतनी debatable रही है even after his life, even after he died, he died really young. Maybe when he was forty, forty five, he died really young. फिर भी उनकी लाइफ इतनी ज्यादा डिबेटेबल रही है ही मैनेज इनसाइजिव क्रिटिसिजम ऑफ द डेप्रोडेशन ऑफ एम्पायर एंड कैपिटलिज्म ही सेट ओके ये ब्रिटिश एम्पायर क्यों चल रहा है व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ द एम्पायर कैपिटलिज्म क्यों हो रहा है यहां ठीक है सो ही ऑलवेज क्रिटिसाइज दीज आइडियाज इन यूके he described in perhaps the greatest examples ऑफ सोशोलॉजिकल जर्नलिज्म एंड मेमोर राइटिंग यूज टू राइट अ लॉट ऑफ एसेज एंड मेमोर्स so these were a few of them and what did he write in these the exploitation and inhumanity of the country and the raj raj british raj to which he belonged because he was a citizen there so he completely hated it and he used to criticize it a lot one more important thing to know about george orwell he was pathetic in his academics he used to hate going to schools he's written essays on how bad the school system is and he was one of the most prominent writers who is still read whose books are still a part of the school curriculum look at the irony look at the paradox the discovery of a medieval pendant by a hobbyist in england jo artifacts were dis discover kar rahe the usi process mein it was an example of the english genius would have pleased orwell orwell would have been really happy chalo theek hai ab cheeze change ho rahi hain अब लोग छोटी छोटी चीजों में हैप्पीनेस ढूंढ रहे हैं इस ब्रिटिश राज से बाहर निकल रहे हैं ही वुड है देर इज इंडीज समथिंग एडमायरेबल अबाउट द एबिलिटी टू ऑब्सेस ओवर द स्मॉल प्लेजर्स दैट लाइफ हैज टू ऑफर हमको अलग चीजों में छोटी छोटी चीजों में प्लेजर मिलता है ब्रिटेन की अलग डेफिनेशन है क्योंकि कंट्री अलग है सो ही इज हैप्पी कि छोटी छोटी चीजों में उनको प्लेजर मिल रहा है बट इट कैन आल्सो स्पीक अ सर्टेन 
blindness of people and nations to their own privilege and entitlement. Ab aata hai important point because when there is a but, there is a major contradiction that's happening here. Why does the author, what does the author say against Britishers being happy on small pleasures? It says you as a Britisher are forgetting that you are entitled and you have privilege. You have looted so many countries, India, one of the multiple sort. And you are at a privileged state. During the rise of Hitler, Orwell asked his people to look beyond their gardens. He uh, Americans, English people, please, apne garden se bahar dekho, flower loving to ho. But Orwell was a master of sarcasm. He was a master at that. He was so good at that. So he said, look beyond your gardens. Hitler ka jab rise ho raha tha. He, George Orwell saw the First World War, the Second World War, India getting its freedom, all of this. He saw all of this. And he said, okay, Britishers, you have to look beyond your gardens. You are flower lovers for sure, but you have to look beyond that. You have to shelve your stamp album and end colonization. Can you stamp album on side side and end your colonization ko end karo. Today, perhaps, he would urge a post-Brexit. And today, again, he would urge something. After the Brexit has happened, he would say, okay, you are a, a vaccine-holding country. You take your gaze off your own interest and look at the world as a whole, whole union and not being very selfish about your own benefits. So the author says, uh, Britain is a vaccine holder, a uh, hoarder rather, and is self-obsessed. So the author is actually placing a criticism on Britain here. Got this article? Tone of the author, everyone. Others, that's the point. The whole point was start achi achi baat se kia. But then there was another point of Brexit. Kuch samaj nahi aa raha. Okay. All right. Yes, exactly. Exit from the European Union. This article basically says in one line just that or George Orwell would have been really happy with how Britishers have been following their passion throughout the pandemic. But then there is another side of the pandemic that George Orwell would not have been happy about. That part is mentioned in the last two lines. It's critical, it's sarcastic. Yes, it is. And there is a reason why George Orwell is mentioned because he is the father of sarcasm actually. Shazia, I have already made three videos on tone of the author. I would want you to search in the YouTube search bar, Alpa Sharma tone of the author. You will find three videos made by me. Please watch all of them. That is going to help you identify the tone of the author. British ke hobby kya ye samaj mein nahi Flowers, excavation, plants lagana, stamps collect karna. Choti choti hobbies hai. The last few lines are actually. So, a few lines are sarcastic. It's critical as well. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm going to share today's Indian Express and Hindu and we're going to look at what are the important articles we should be reading today. Give me a second everyone. Please look at the roundup carefully and read those articles. Summarize kiya bache, I do bar summarize kiya. It is not appreciation for Orwell. It's how Orwell would have appreciated what Britain is doing amid the pandemic. But then there is another side to the pandemic as well. How, by the time I open today's Hindu, I'll tell you how did I meet Ruskin Bond. Ruskin Bond has a permanent residence in Missouri. And there is a, a bookstore in Missouri Mall Road where he comes every Sunday to visit people and sign books. Personally sign books. If you happen to go to Missouri, you can see him on a Sunday in, at the Mall Road. And here is today's newspaper. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, Shruti, that's a very good question. If there is a question asked to give a title to the passage, what would you give? Everyone. Suggest the title by the time I open today's newspaper. Everyone, here you go. Anyone? Title? Title, title, quickly. Title to the second passage. Okay. By the time you answer the title, let's look at the first article from the Hindu. Persist with probe. Okay, yes, on Pegasus. I thought Pegasus inquiry was over. Good that it's back in news. Read this thoroughly. The second one. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Aaj finally, this verdict will come. This will be very important in detail. Leave it. You don't need this. Okay? Skim. Only and only skim this article. Okay? Next page. George Orwell and his stories. Britain and its hobbies. Any title that links both the sides of pandemic as viewed by the Britishers. Fulfilling their hobbies, being happy with themselves, even if there's a hard time going on. Plus, the negativity, becoming a vaccine holder, Brexit. So, both the sides of the coin are discussed here. So, George Orwell would have, and George Orwell is an example used, how he would have reacted. So, it's actually part of the premise. George Orwell is a part of the premise here. So, it would have been, oh yes, you can say Britain a chaos. You could say that. Okay, the passage is not about George Orwell, it's about Britain. George Orwell is only a part of the premise. It adds on to the sarcasm here. Exactly. Now let's move to the next uh, page. Okay. Can India become a technology leader? Yes. Please give this a thorough read. Neither ban nor regulate crypto. Skim. If you know what crypto is about, you just skim it. If you don't know it, please read it in detail. Mein padh lena. Isko chhod dena, koi need nahi hai iska. Theek hai? Let's look at the Indian Express. Okay, first article December. Oh, reading sex ratio trends in NFHS five data. Ye do tin baar aajuka article. Isko skim kar lena. MSP for all crops is fiscally unfeasible. Skim. Okay. Allow kids to learn from world beyond classroom. Very important. Detail me parna. I think I'm going to take it tomorrow. Nothing improper about easy meeting government officials. Skip. Chhod dena isko. National security at the cost of citizens' privacy. So Pegasus article looks like that. Skim. Nahi to parle na detail me. Sacrilege attempt is he? Oh. So, skim kar lena isko, hai na? Aur koi, please is pe political debate mat kar lena kisi se. It's not worth it. Draft bill against conversion in Karnataka. Only skim. Story behind. Okay, that's all. Ab kal ke articles aage. That's all. That's all from today's articles and important things. Any more questions that you have? All right. So, guys, I don't think there are any more questions. Uh, Shazi has a question about mocks. I've purchased them in online format and solved them likewise, but flat is offline. You can't be sure, Shazi, if flat is offline. It can be online again. Okay. If it is, if you are practicing online and if it happens offline, you are at a win-win. 
but if you're practicing offline and it happens online you're going to be doomed please practice it online all right thank you so much everyone i'll see you at 12 30 on the bba platform with a class on closed tests and link yes my groups link i'm going to post it here please give me a second give me a second please I'm going to post the link from my telegram group here right away. Just a minute. Okay. One second. Ashita, here it is. Okay. Ending the class, everyone. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Both, both of them. Ashita, both of them. Okay. Bye, everyone.